This is our location that we just slept at last night. It is all frosted right now. Frosted like crazy. But there... There's a buffalo right yeah. over there. Good feet away. He's right over there in the parking lot. Right there. So that is our sunrise right now. Just everything's waking up. Super cool. Yeah, there's a ton of bison yesterday, last night over there. And then now we just see one of right there. Oh, we gotta tell them last night how it was so scary. There was like a pack of like 20 or 30 coyotes and probably a quarter mile away, but they were hollering and, and like hooting and stuff, you know, and you could hear them like as a pack and they killed an animal and the animal was like or something like that. And all these coyotes were like um, making the craziest noises, man. They were like, oh, mm -hmm. and it was just like super <laughs> loud. I'm like, I felt creeped out. I'm like, I didn't want to go out. And I had to use the bathroom really bad, so I kind of pinched my pennies as had... long as I could. But eventually, I could. So around 3:30 in the morning, I got up with Isabel and we went to the bathroom. But she was like so dazed and confused because I just woke her up out of a deep sleep. You That's can't see anything. You see that you bison can't... on the top of that hill? Yeah, but you can't see anything. Like your feet or anything, it's so pitch black. It was pitch black and the it's most silent. It's the silent most silence I've ever heard. Well, that's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. It's it's the most silence you will ever experience. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, I've never heard. I've never experienced such dead silence. It was scary. And literally, here's our van right here. And we had to walk to the bathroom. That's right there. And it was still so scary. We couldn't do it by ourselves. But we slept really good because we have a nice propane heater. And kept us nice and warm with our blankets. I just, oh my gosh, your pants. It's super frosty. I shouldn't have left them out here. Stay tuned for our hike we're gonna take on the Notch Trail. I got a really safe husband over there on the cement.
of our shots, organic shots. This one's a beet shot. Apparently it's good for you. I can't open mine. Wait, I think I got it. Yep. Okay, did you shake it? No. It says shake well. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Ew. It's mediocre at best. Keep your immune system in check. Now we're going to go on the Notch Trail. So this is like a 1.5 mile hike. It takes like 34 minutes. There's a couple of great panoramic views, so mm -hmm. stay tuned. Yeah. You got it, sweetie? Yep, be careful. You want me to take your water bottle? All right, there you go. Awesome job. Way to go. I don't know how you just did that. There's like nothing to grip right there. <laughs> wow. I went up this way. This is so pretty. It's a little anxiety inducing. This is an awesome trail, but right now we have to really be careful. So I'm probably not going to film too much, but Jack is panicking. I don't know if that's the right way to go. Let's try it out, because This trail is so interesting. For anyone that doesn't know, Jack has a fear of heights besides roller coasters. He's fine with that, but when it's something not strapped down or keeping him safe, he kind of panics. <laughs> Little fun fact about Jack. This is honestly crazy. You actually got up there. I'm surprised because because this this uh, jump is about uh, five feet tall. So she she got up there and then now she's up there. What's up there? Wow, there's so much more. Okay, well I'm gonna try and make it. I put one foot right here. Well, I had one there, and then I had my hand on the side. And then I just push myself up. That's good ergonomics. <sighs> yep. And then I got my foot up there. Got it. Mountain climbers! Way to go, man. Okay. So this is what I saw.
Hey guys, so I'm up here right now on a cliff a little bit. Started climbing up this like side of the hill and I'm just saying this trail is one of the best I've ever been on before so definitely put it on your bucket list to go to the Notch Trail. That is one of the best right now. The beautiful views and just take a look right A viewpoint right over there and I'm just like looking up top right here. A bunch of people walking this way. We have to walk back that way. Jack is somewhere behind one of these valleys and I just started climbing up here. You know? So guys, I'm telling you, definitely take a trip up to the Badlands National Park and look at this trail. We're just so thankful to be having this opportunity that God provided for us to go on a road trip. The amazing creation that he's created here in these awesome like hills. They remind me of ant hills, so I'm just saying. But I gotta go find Jack right now. He's in one of these valleys. Stay tuned for more of these scenes. We'll show you guys. Dude! off-roading right here. Woo. It's a thigh workout a little bit. Literally taking my breath away. If you're going on these trails, only bring hiking boots, shoes with grips. I think I'm gonna try and go up there. I'm gonna try and go up there. Guys, I just got up higher. I'm just here, and I just got up higher. Look at this. Man. There's Jack. She dropped her water bottle. Oh, okay. oh. Better than her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I would have reacted before you. <laughs> She's my wife. You got it, sweetie. Don't worry. Just one step at a time. What a ladder, huh? Yeah, you're, you're, you're doing way better than I did. <laughs> I could not look to see how far down that well, was. You wouldn't believe it. At first she actually went this way and hopped up on that rock and then went there. She didn't even take the ladder. Oh. Yeah. She scared me. Oh, wow. She's a daredevil. Yeah. And you're a lot younger. And she yeah. <laughs> That's right. Guys, we just got here to the prairie dog home ranch. We're going to be feeding some prairie dogs. Oh, they're so cute. Gosh, they're everywhere. Really? Mm. Oh my goodness. Here. Yeah. Hmm. Aw. <gasps> the little chubby guy's coming over. So cute. Oh my gosh, this guy just came from under me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I just threw his finger. Hi, hey buddy. I don't have one. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love this place right now. So cute. Oh 
man meanie, dude. Oh my, watch out. Hey, I got some over here. You see me better? No. Watch, she's coming right up to me. There you go. <laughs> it's so funny how he peels it apart. He's hungry. I've never done anything like this. I've seen a prairie dog in real life, so I'm like, oh my gosh, come here. Hi. Want two? Right here. Oops, I dropped one. They are so adorable. Buy one dollar bag of peanuts. You hand feed them. Something you can do that's really fun next to the Badlands in South Dakota. This is incredible. So cute. I want to get them to do that little bouncing cry where they stand up. Come on, do it. That. Oh my god, they're doing it. That's a weird noise. They're growing at each other. The place where we're gonna be sleeping tonight at the Grand Getaway Hotel. Really cheap for only $47 for tonight. And it looks, it just feels like it has this vibe of living in the old days. So this is the bathroom. Nice picture. We got some, all of our stuff in already, but amazing bed. Yeah. All our Food. That is like such an awesome mirror, honestly. That view. This is our view of, of trees. So yeah, be sleeping here tonight. And I hope you like this video. It's our second day at the Badlands. So subscribe and like if you want to see more of our adventure to come.